Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Spaced Out Radio's Cryptid Tales. My name is Amber Beckrude, and today, well, I have something a little interesting for you. Today's story of a cryptid creature is none other than the American hyena. Now, the American hyena has been witnessed for hundreds of years in the west areas of the United States. So ranging from Montana to Nebraska, this creature has been seen and everybody is wondering if it really is a hyena. It has been first seen or the first cryptid of its kind was shot in 1886 and there's actually no evidence of that shooting. No matter how many times one is claimed to have been shot, nobody can actually get to the evidence of it. Now there is one that has been mounted that people do claim is an actual representation of the American hyena, but without DNA testing, there is no conclusive evidence to determine that it is the American hyena and not just a malformed wolf or a bad taxidermy job. Stories of this animal have been throughout the years. Of course, in recent years, they have depleted, speculating that maybe the population has been gunned out or has been just dying off due to inaccessibility to food sources. Although with how many rabbits and other small animals are around the areas of the United States, I wouldn't expect it to just die off. People have seen them ranging from killing their chickens to killing sheep, and everybody has the same story. It's always that there is a sloped like dog running through their field or running through their property and, or running in front of them. And it's just weird to think that there is a hyena running around, but what you do need to keep in mind is that during the Ice Age, we actually did have hyenas here in North America. So the possibility of there still being, you know, evolved versions of those hyenas here that we're just not seeing often is very real. Um, now this American hyena also goes by another name, which is the Shunka Warrican, which is the name that the Native Americans have given to this creature. They have been seeing this creature, this being for ages. So is it really hard to think that maybe it is an evolved hyena from the Ice Age that has just adapted and survived over time? Or did some hyena get out of its cage in a zoo that nobody noticed and multiple of them did over time and they just started breeding? It's hard to say. Now, sightings of this creature have been seen as recent as this year. Yes, that is correct. This year, somebody actually claimed to see this hyena near Colorado Springs. What happened was that the witness said that this hyena walked in front of them at the Garden of the Gods trading post in Colorado Springs. In this case, it was found that there was no missing hyenas at all from the nearby Cheyenne Mountain Zoo so it wasn't an escaped hyena. People just kind of shrugged it off. Authorities were just like, yeah, okay, whatever. I know my animals. And I would think that people living in the mountain ranges and the Rocky Mountains and that kind of thing would know what a wolf looks like, know what a coyote looks like, know what a fox looks like. Hyenas have a very different body structure. I'm sorry, but just know. <laughs> Hyenas don't look anything like wolves unless they are super emaciated, very malformed, and very broken. They often pass every sighting off as well to a misidentification of a bobcat or a coyote or anything like that. So it's really, 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 I guess people just don't want to admit that there is that possibility of something like this existing. Witnesses have also claimed that they actually saw a hyena wandering around a provincial park in Alberta here in Canada as well in 1991. Or what would be going through your head when you come across this creature who is so out of place in the United States. It's not, not supposed to be there. I wanna hear from you. Please leave me a comment down below if you have encountered or heard of this creature or know somebody who has encountered this creature. I wanna hear your stories. 
because every story that anybody has ever had is just that they saw it or that there was evidence that something had killed their chickens or they saw it running away because it was killing sheep. Please let me know if you've had an encounter with this hyena down below. Of course, please do not forget to check out my social media and Spaced Out Radio social media here. And don't forget you can tune in to Spaced Out Radio every single day at nine o'clock Pacific. I'm sure that there are lots and lots more animals for me to cover and more cryptids. And of course, if you want to hear about other things, please leave that down below because I would love to cover so much more. Just because we call this section Cryptid Tales doesn't mean that we just have to stick to strange animals. I am all about researching and finding out information about everything. So. If there's something that you want to know more about, please let me know down below. Just leave me comments. I just want to hear from you guys and get your input and actually have a conversation with you and bring you content that you will enjoy. Also, I would like to give a big shout out to Ron Bumblefoot though for allowing us to use his music for all of Spaced Out Radio's adventures. I think that is it and I will see you guys in the next episode.